Hey guys, it's Peter, and my goal is to make this the fastest, easiest, and most comprehensive tutorial on how to hike to the Hollywood sign. I will detail the five major routes, the addresses where the trails begin, and explain the parking situation. If you appreciate that, please send me a like and subscribe. Let's begin. I like videos that get to the point, so here is the information on each of the five major hikes. Next, I will describe each of these hikes in detail so you can choose the best one for you. The Hollywood sign is probably the most famous landmark in Los Angeles and is located in Griffith Park. Griffith Park is different from Runyon Canyon, which is nearby, and while it does have use of the Hollywood sign, you cannot get to the Hollywood sign from Runyon Canyon. I put a link to my Runyon Canyon hiking video in the description. There are dozens of routes you can take to get to the Hollywood sign, so I just picked the five major ones that offer different trail lengths, eases of accessibility, viewpoints of the Hollywood sign, and other cool stops along the way. Let's start with the most popular trail, the Brush Canyon Trail. <music> The Brush Canyon Trail is very popular because it's a wide, smooth trail that's easy to get to with plenty of free parking. It's 6.4 miles round trip and gains 1,000 feet of elevation, so it's not exactly short. Just plug 3200 Canyon Drive Los Angeles into whatever navigation software you use, park your car, and start hiking. You can't miss it. The trail is a steady incline on both paved and dirt portions and is open to hikers and dogs. You won't be able to see the Hollywood sign until you near the end of the trail, but you will see beautiful views of Los Angeles and Griffith Park. There are horses on this trail, so uh, watch your step. Next up is the Innsdale Trail. This route is great because it offers fabulous views of the Hollywood sign along the entire hike. It's 4.3 miles round trip, gaining 750 feet in elevation. There is free parking on the streets near the trailhead. The trail starts at 6101 Insdale Drive, and a portion of the trail goes along the residential street of Mulholland Drive. You will need to pass the gate at the end of Deronda Drive about halfway through the hike. After the gate, there is a viewing slash photo opportunity area to the left, or you can stay to the right and follow the paved road all the way to the sign. Next up is the Mount Lee Drive Trail, which is a shorter version of the Innsdale Trail. At 2.7 miles round trip, it is the shortest route you can take to get to the Hollywood sign. There is, however, no parking available on the street. The street needs to remain clear for emergency vehicles, so you'll need to be dropped off. Just use the address 3398 Deronda Drive as your drop-off point. It starts at the gate and is a quick paved hike up to the Hollywood sign. Next is the longest hike on the list, the Mount Hollywood Trail from Griffith Observatory. It's 8.8 miles and starts at the Charlie Turner Trailhead at Griffith Observatory, which is at 2800 East Observatory Road. There is limited parking, which can be free or paid depending on the spot. Head up Mount Hollywood on Mount Hollywood Hiking Trail, then to the East Ridge Trail, then the Three Mile Trail, then to Mount Hollywood Drive, then to Mulholland Fire Road, then to the Brush Canyon Trail, onto Holy Ridge Trail, and finally to Mount Lee Road, which takes you all the way to the sign. Don't worry, this is a popular route and is well marked. Last is probably the coolest hike to the Hollywood sign, Burbank Trail. It's a fairly short 3.2 miles round trip, but it's pretty steep and there are times when you will need to use your legs and arms to climb up the rocky parts of the trail. To get to the trail, put the intersection of Lake Hollywood Drive and Wonderview Drive into your navigation software. Walk a short distance up Wonderview Road toward the base of the trail and start heading up Burbank Peak. This hike is especially awesome because you'll pass two local points of interest. 
The Wisdom Tree and Kawenga Peak. The Wisdom Tree is a lone standing tree on top of Burbank Peak. Legend has it was the one survivor of many discarded Christmas trees planted decades ago. But what we know for sure is that it survived the Hollywood Hills fire of 2007 that burned everything around it. It also survived a developer who announced plans to construct five luxury estates on that land. An effort led by neighborhood groups and the Trust for Public Land raised enough money to buy back the land from the developer in 2010 with big last minute donations from the Lewis Comfort Tiffany Foundation, Eileen Getty and Hugh Hefner. Now the land is part of Griffith Park. As you make your way over to the Hollywood sign from Burbank Peak, you will summit Kawenga Peak, which is the tallest point in Griffith Park. The trail walks on top of a ridge, so you will see both sides of Griffith Park, the south facing Lake Hollywood and downtown Los Angeles, and the north facing Burbank, the San Gabriel Mountains, and Angeles National Forest. This trail approaches the Hollywood sign from the west, while all other trails approach the sign from the east. While the trail does take you to the Hollywood sign, you can't really see the sign that well along the hike. To get the best views of the sign, you'll want to take the Innsdale Trail. So I found this interesting. The Hollywood sign was first built in 1923 as an outdoor advertisement for a housing development which was called Hollywood Land. The land portion of the sign was removed in 1949 by the city to reflect the Hollywood district and not the Hollywood land housing development. I have only detailed five hikes to the Hollywood sign, but there are many others. You could also park at the Griffith Park merry-go-round and hike from the north side of the park, which would be fun. If you liked this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and let me know if it helped you in the comments. Consider subscribing to my channel for more inspiration to go on outdoor adventures. You can also check out my other videos linked in the description. Thank you.